Okay, so laying down. Let's have our heads all pointing the same direction. So our heads are going to be the same side as me, if you can. So laying down on the mat. With your arms down by your side. And slightly away from your body. And just allow your fingers to curl. And allow your palms to gently soften. And have a softness around your shoulders and around your neck. And feel the weight of the back of the head on the ground beneath you. And have your feet slightly wider than hip width apart. And then focusing on your feet, allow your feet to open. And then uh, bring your focus to your knees, allow your knees to open. And then I bring your focus to your hips and allow your hips to open out. So having a sense of unraveling. Having a sense of letting go. Bringing your mind and your body to a peaceful state. Bringing yourself back to balance and equilibrium. Breathing in through both nostrils and then exhaling completely with a little sigh. Breathing in wide and full sighing out. One more time, breathing in, chest expanding and sighing out. Now allow your breath to find its own depth and its own rhythm without controlling it in any way. Feel the gentle rise of your chest and the swell of your belly as you inhale. And the gentle lowering of the chest and the lowering of the belly on the exhalation. on your yoga mat, sacred space for the next hour. And taking that sense of balance and peace with us on our yogic journey together. On the next inhalation, take your arms over your head. Try and keep the ribs still. Exhale, draw the arms down as you draw your right knee into your chest. Releasing that right leg down, arms over the head on the inhalation. Exhale, arms come down, draw the left knee in. Continue to do that. Inhale as the arms go up, the leg goes down. And exhale as the arms come down and the leg comes in. Fully moving with awareness and concentration. Allow this concentration and this focus to still and center the mind, allowing your thoughts to lose their weight, finding gaps of nothingness between the thoughts 
or complete nothingness, which is true liber liberation and freedom from the mind. Drinking in your breath and pouring it out. The next time your right leg is in, hold it there. Either interlace the fingers or layer the hands. Inviting the right knee towards your right armpit. Keeping the left leg down on the floor. Start to circle that right ankle around. Anyway. Reverse, go back in the opposite direction. And then start to flex and point that foot. Flexing and pointing. Allow the breath to be natural. Last flex last point. Bend that left leg and place the sole of the left foot flat on the mat. Take your right foot and place it on your left knee. Move the arms away from the body slightly with the palms of the hands facing up. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, dropping the leg to the right side, resting on the inner arch of the left leg, left foot. Use the weight of the right foot on top of the left knee. Take the weight onto your head, lift the back, and adjust the shoulder blades so equally weighted, and turning the head softly to the left side. Finding peace in that posture, melting and letting go on every exhalation. Inhale, lift the legs back to the center sole of the left foot flat on the mat. Take your hands behind the right thigh, interlacing the fingers, back of the neck long, and then inhale to extend that leg and lower on the exhalation. Inhale, straighten the leg, and exhale, allow that foot to go down. This time, synchronizing the breath if you can, with the movement. Try and lengthen the exhalation and the inhalation. Inhale through both nostrils. Exhale through both nostrils. holding the leg straight as you can, and you can move the hands higher up towards the calf or the ankle, but never behind the knee. Take an inhale, relax and release, and then straighten out the left leg. take your arms down by your side I want you to have your right leg straight and flexing that right foot connect to your bandas so pulling up the pelvic floor malabanda 
draw your belly button in, Uriana Banda. Dust a flavor of both bandas, so pulling up and pulling in just very slightly. Take an inhalation and exhale. Take that right leg down slowly, slowly, slowly down towards the floor. Inhale, take your arms over your head, keep the ribs still. Exhale, arms come down, draw the left knee in, either interlacing the fingers or layering the hands, inviting the left knee towards your left armpit. Start to circle the left ankle around. And back in the opposite direction. Start to flex and point that foot. Flexing and pointing. Last flex, last point. Breathing in, breathing out, take the right leg, bend it, place the sole of the right foot flat on the mat. Take your left foot, place it on your right knee, move the arms away from the body, palms up. Inhale, wide and full on the exhalation. Taking the legs over to the left side, adjust the shoulder blades so they're equally weighted, exposing the soles of the feet to the air, and then take your head mindfully to the right side. washing over you. Inhale, lift the legs to the center. Take your hands interlaced or layered behind the left thigh. Inhale, left foot goes up, straighten the left leg. Exhale, left foot goes down, bending the leg. Synchronizing the breath to the movement and this focus and concentration will help to anchor you into the present moment this blissful pure moment in time the leg up, take the hands up a little bit high, calf or ankle, extending the right leg along the floor, take an inhalation and then draw that leg further towards your chest without forcing it, so allow it just to flow naturally, a metaphor for life, flowing, not forcing, swimming with the stream, not against it. Listening, listening, listening. Inhale, exhale, take your arms down by your side, flexing that left foot, connect to your bandas. Inhale, 
and exhale very slowly take that left leg down moving in slow motion well done inhale take both arms over the head point the toes into a full body stretch so point the toes stretch the arms big stretch so stretch in your armpits and your lats and then inhale and as you exhale roll towards the screen bringing that top arm forwards so you're laying on your side and hopefully our heads are all facing the same way with your ear on your bicep then that bottom leg and I want you to point the toes on that top foot connect to your bandas and we're going to be isolating this top leg I want you to start to draw a circle with the foot going forwards very slowly warming up the hip joint releasing synovial fluid liquid gold for the body so important to keep mobilizing our joints and then reverse go back in the opposite direction you can start to make that circle bigger stabilizing through your core muscles make the next one the last one and then bending that top leg to mirror the bottom leg and have your heels in line with your bottom as we move into a lateral hip opener which is really good for releasing any stuck nerves in your hips so we're going to inhale to lift that top knee away from the bottom knee and exhale to lower inhale to lift exhale to lower Make the next one the last one. And then we're going to go knees together with the heel going up, squeezing our thighs together, and then heels together with the knee pointing up. Breathing out, breathing in. Again, really good for your hip socket to get a bit of movement into your hip. Allowing the ligaments and tendons to move and lubricate. Last knees together last heels together and now you to reach back for your top foot and bring your heel towards your bottom as you stretch through your hip flex from your quadricep so these muscles get very tight especially if we're sitting down a lot so this is a brilliant antidote inhale and then coming up onto your forearm have your elbow underneath your shoulder imagine there's an inflated balloon underneath your waist place your hand onto your hip imagine there's a, a string here gonna hook your hip up towards the sky so we're gonna breathe in to prepare widen and fall exhale lift your hips if you want to you can take your arm over if you want to, you can extend your leg. So layering this movement, making it a little bit more challenging or decreasing it if you need to. Keep 
feet lifting up, connect to the pandas. Well done, breathing in and then release it and then you're going to sit with your legs crossed. So sitting up, finding your sitting bones, palms of the hands facing up. So just settling into this position, arriving in this seated, elevated position. I want you to imagine your energy field going into the earth. Imagine your energetic roots traveling down deep into the core of the earth. So you feel very, very grounded. So feel those energetic roots stretching deep down. At the same time, imagine a golden cord lifting you up, plugging you back into divine source. Bring your hands to your heart center. We're going to inhale. As you exhale, interlace your fingers and round out your back. Press the palms and hands away. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, arms down. Same sequence. Inhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Exhale, press the palms of the hands away. Round out your back to the cat. Inhale, lift up, grow tall. Exhale. This time, bring your hands to your heart center. Inhale, but take the arms up. Interlace the fingers, hold. Side body long. Wiggle yourself up, lengthen the neck, root down. Plug yourself in. Inhale, release and take your left arm over. Palm of the right hand melts into the earth. Equally weighting your sitting bones. Inhale. Exhale. Sink down. by your side, sweep the hands forwards and on exhalation folding down, folding over your legs, draping yourself over your legs, stretching away with the fingertips, feel the shoulder blades melting apart and spreading out. up to the corners of the room, plug yourself in, 
and then twisting left hand, right knee. You're going to hold it, drawing that right shoulder down, fingertips of your right hand, right little seeds plugging into the earth. Release, inhale, take the arms up. Big stretch. Right hand, left knee. Holding that twist. direction so laying on your side extend your bottom arm place your ear on your bicep the bottom leg is bent for stability so imagine you've got a, a pencil attached to your foot keeping the whole of the body still as you just isolate and move that top leg start to draw a circle going forwards Connecting to the resonance and vibration of the music. Allow the waves of that music and vibration to wash over you and through you like clean, clear water. Bringing clarity. And then reverse, go back in the opposite direction. on the last one. Inhale and then bend the top leg to mirror your bottom leg into our lateral hip opener. Inhale to lift the top knee away from the bottom knee and exhale to lower. together, inhale, heels together. together, heels together, reach for your top foot, draw that knee back and into your hip flexor stretch, enjoy that stretch as you draw your hips forwards. Well done, inhale, exhale, release and coming up onto your forearm, draw that waist away from the floor, your hands on your rim of your pelvis, take an inhale, widen full, connect to the core and lift the hips, have your arms over your head if you so desire, and a little bit harder is to extend that leg so you decide, it's your workout, you're always moving intuitively. Inhale and relax. Well 
down. And now we're going to come onto all fours. On all fours with the wrists under the shoulders and the knees underneath the hips. Try and be in neutral pelvis and visualize, and if you can, a small pool of water resting in the base of your spine. Spread the fingertips. Inhale. As you exhale, take out your right leg, extending the right leg and pointing the toes. Try not to fall on the left side. Inhale. And as you exhale, draw that right knee in and inhale as you extend the leg out. Pulling up and pulling in. So you're stretching away from a strong center. Last one. Hold the leg out. Take an inhale. And as gracefully as you can with the pointed foot, draw your right leg forwards. And just check that your right ankle is directly above or below your right knee. Allow your left knee to go back a little bit. Place your left hand beside your right foot. On inhalation, you take a quarter turn right and you're reaching up with your right arm. Reaching up with your right arm. You're turning away from the screen. That's it. So turning away from the screen. If you want to make it harder, tuck your toes on your left foot and draw the left knee off the mat. Look up towards that right hand and circle the right wrist. Reverse that circle, go back in the opposite direction. Make the next circle the last one. Inhale. Exhale, lower the right arm. Take your right leg back. So you're back on all fours. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, back of the neck long. Settle in. Inhale. Exhale, take your left leg back, pointing the toes on that left foot. Try and have that leg super straight and super long. Take an inhalation. Exhale, draw that left knee in. And inhale, take the leg out. Exhale in. Inhale out. Inhale, and as you exhale, gracefully drawing that left leg forwards. Make sure the ankle's below the knee. That's it, so settling in. Take your right hand beside your left foot, spread the fingertips. On an inhalation, you're going to take a quarter turn left and reach up with your left arm. If you want to make it harder, tuck your toes and draw the right knee off the mat. Allow the inner thighs to hug in towards the midline of the body. Looking towards that left hand, circle the left wrist. Dancing yoga hand. Reverse, go back in the opposite direction. Last one, inhale. Beautiful, exhale, lower. Take your left leg back. Back into full point kneeling, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Now have the hands a little bit wider than shoulder width apart because we're going to go into downward facing dog. And I like to have my hands a little bit wider so that there's no tension in the neck or the head and you, you can spread the shoulder blades on your back. So you're going to tuck your toes. You're going to inhale, widen the full. 
and on the exhalation come up into downward facing dog so Adha Mukha Shavasana we're upside down bringing extra blood to the brain so very therapeutic just breathing in big wide breaths filling up your lungs from the bottom to the top and from the front to the back you can use ujjayi breathing if you like when we do this which is making a little bit of a the wave like sound in the back of your throat and then let's walk our downward facing dog so bend the right leg allow the left heel to melt down and then swap sides so we get a really beautiful stretch in your Achilles tendons and calves. Last one, heels down, inhale. Bend the knees a little bit and on the exhalation, walk your hands backwards. So we're backwards now towards our feet and just hang in Uttanasana. So we're at the back of our mat. Allow the head to, the weight of the head to lengthen the spine. Ground the outer edge of your feet, lift up your arches. Your ankles are really strong. Draping your body over your legs. And with a little bit of a bent knee, start to curl up slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, as if you are building a tower of bricks. Well done. So standing at the back of your mat, all together, knees and feet hip width apart. Make sure you're in neutral pelvis for the two hip bones, vertically above your pubic bone. Connect to the bandas, so pulling up and pulling in just a little bit. Okay, now you're gonna step forwards. We're gonna go into Virabhadrasana 1. You're gonna step forwards with your right foot. So step forward with your right foot and take your arms up. That's it, so inhale, arms go up, and then exhale, press the palms back as you lean forwards and continue to do that. So inhale to take the arms up and exhale to take the arms down. Make sure your hips are shining forwards. That right foot goes straight ahead and there's a slight angle with the back left foot. Flowing, flowing with the movement. Now we're going to hold it up, hold the arms up, keep moving this hip forward. So your hips are going forwards like headlights in a car, it's in the back of the spine, the lower back, the lumbar spine. Inhale, and as you exhale into the humble warrior, we interlace the fingers behind, we squeeze the shoulder blades together, and we drape our body over that front right thigh. Inhale, come up, release the arms. Three shoulder rolls, inhale up, exhale down. And then transition into the Virabhadrasana two. So have your legs wider. The front foot goes straight ahead. 
and sit Virabhadrasana 2. Have your shoulders directly above your hips, palms of the hands facing down, stretching away. Inhale, exhale, lower that back right hand, take the left palm to face up, and then inhale, lifting that arm. So you're lifting the arm of the right leg. Inhale. And into standing side stretch, Parsakanasana, take your top arm over, rest your arm on your thigh. Well done. And then we're transitioning into a half moon balance. So we're going to inhale. Exhale, come up, balancing on your right foot, or it might be your left foot, coming up. Coming up, wide legs, three little squats, one, two, three, and then open out. Inhale to open, exhale to squat. Keep the feet where they are. You should have your left leg forwards and your right leg behind. Transitioning into Virabhadrasana 1. So the front foot is going straight forwards. The back foot comes out at a slight angle. Draw your hips to face the side. So the hips are shining forwards. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, flow the arms down. Coming up. Beautiful, well done, coming up. And down. Hold it up. Settling in. And every exhalation, blowing away any residual thoughts. See if you can have a free mind. Breathing in, breathing out. Interlace the fingers the humble warrior, squeeze the shoulder blades together, draping your body over that front leg.
coming up on an inhale, release the arms. Then three shoulder rolls, inhale up, exhale down. And then moving into Virabhadrasana, two legs wider apart, front foot going forwards, back heel comes out at 90 degrees, shoulders above your hips, can you go lower? Look to the middle finger of that front hand and into the distance. Inhale, exhale, lower that arm, take the palm up, inhale, lift into the sun warrior, looking into the creases of the palm of your hand. Inhale, exhale into Parsvakanasana. Sink your hips. Knee over ankle. Inhale. Come up, exhale, and into your standing half moon, balancing on the sole of your foot. Stay steady and strong. Come up, three plie squats, breathing out, open up, breathe in. How low can you go? Push the knees out towards the baby toes. Enjoy as you stop, feel the energy that is created. Allow it to wash over you and through you. Prana, life force. Plugging into the energetic field of all there is. stand at the back of your mat. Feet hip width apart, neutral pelvis connecting to the bandas, grow tall. Breathing in and let's roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. As we go down sequentially separating the individual vertebrae within our back, mobilizing those vertebrae. You get down to the floor you're going to walk your hands out into a plank wrists under shoulders and knees under hips in 
into Kumbhakasana, the plank posture. Try not to sink or sag your back. Breathing in. Chandaranga Dandasana. Knees can be on the mat. At this point, go down slowly. And as you come down, point the toes. Take the arms over the head. With the hands shoulder width apart. Feet hip width apart. We're going to breathe in, and as you breathe out, lift up your right leg and left arm and head, but not tipping your head backwards, and then release on an inhale. Left leg, right arm. Breathing out as you lift, and inhale to lower. So opposite arm to opposite leg, stretching away from a strong center. Keep the neck in line with the spine. That's really important. You're not tipping your head backwards. Try not to rock your hips from side to side. If you want to now, make it a little bit harder by lifting both arms and both legs together. Up and hold. Variation on the locus, Salabha Asana. Point the toes, activate the front thighs, hug the thigh muscles to the thigh bone, stretch the shoulder blades across your back. Breathing in, release the legs, hand underneath, hands under your shoulder, stretch back into child's posture and Kali Mudra with the hands where the back three fingers are crossed, the index fingers are straight and touching each other. The left thumb goes over the right thumb and then place your hands at the back of your head in the mandala oblongata. So it's where all the spiritual energy comes into our body and then just settling in. Hold it there consolidating all that energy that we've created so far. slowly coming up bring your feet around to the front sitting up nice and tall with the hands behind your thighs take an inhale and then you're going to roll down slowly 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 neck and head last arms down by your side and then draw your right knee in draw your left knee in breathing out draw the knees in and then inhale release massaging your lower back into the mat Take that into two circles. Right knee going right, left knee going left.
Reverse, go back in the opposite direction. Make the next one the last one. Slowly take down the right leg. Slowly take down the left leg. And let's finish off with Shavasana, relaxation, back where we started. So making sure that you feel very, very comfortable. One of the most important things about Shavasana is that you feel comfortable. So you might want to throw a blanket over you, or a sheet. And just make any little adjustments so you feel balanced on the right side and the left side of your body. Arms down by your side and slightly away from the body. Palms of the hands facing up. Fingers curling. Palms softening. Feel the weight of the head touching the mat. Feel the weight of your shoulder blades touching the mat. Feel the weight of your bottom sinking deep, deep, deep into the mat. Feel the weight of your calves pressing against the mat. Feel the heels melting into your mat. Softening the soles of your feet, your toes and the tips of your toes. Relax in the inner arches of your feet and the sides of your feet. Relaxing your ankles, chins, calves. Relaxing both your knees. Relaxing the top of your thighs and your hips. Feel the gentle swell of the belly as you breathe in and the gentle lowering of the belly as you exhale. Relaxing and softening across your chest, your collarbone and neck. Relaxing your shoulders and your armpits. Relaxing your biceps at the front and the triceps at the back. Relaxing your elbows, both your forearms. Relaxing your wrists, fingers, fingertips. Relaxing the whole of your back. Relaxing your head and allow the scalp and the facial muscles to become very, very soft. Relaxing your eyelids, forehead, cheeks, chin nose, jaw, allow the tongue to float in the center of the mouth and relax your lips and finally relax your ears. And then, 
most importantly, relax your mind. Allow your mind to become very, very still. Finding a deep, deep, deep sense of peace. stillness to reach every part of your body and being, reaching the atoms and your DNA, bringing yourself back to balance and homeostasis. Wrapping yourself up with nourishment and love. Wrapping yourself up with light and hope. Wrapping yourself up with nature. Feeling the blessed earth beneath your body. Allow the cosmic rays of the sun to wash down over your blessed body. Bring in light and luminosity. Raising your vibration. Through the power of yoga, and go deeper and deeper and deeper into relaxation, suspended in time and space. Precious beings of the universe, connect into your freedom. slowly start to reawaken your body bringing yourself back bringing all that nourishment and peace and freedom with you that sense of togetherness and moving your body in any way that feels nice you might want to bring the fingertips into the palms of the hands a few times I want to rotate the wrists. You might want to move your neck and shoulders a little bit. And then when you feel
feel ready, draw your knees into your chest very slowly, very slowly. And then gently rock your body from side to side. And then rocking yourself over to the right side in the fetal position. And you might want to place a, a hand there. Take the weight of your head. without disturbing the stillness coming up to a comfortable elevated position where the spine can be long. Take your hands into chin mudra where the index fingers lightly touch the thumbs in the center as we collectively connect to the cosmic consciousness, allowing the cosmic rays to wash down on us, clearing away anything that we don't need. So we can feel lighter and more energized into this blessed beautiful moment in time joining together with the power of yoga joining together to lift our group consciousness remembering that separation is an illusion and we're all connected find visible threads of energy. We are at the right place at the right time. Bring your hands to your heart center into Anjali Mudra and nestle your thumbs on your, on your heart, connecting to your heart. We're going to breathe in, breathe out once. Do one glorious Om. Om is the primordial sound of the universe. And then we'll chant out three Shantis. Shanti's peace in Sanskrit, the ancient language of yoga. So let's breathe in, breathe out once. <sighs> Breathing again. Oh. Breathing again. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Sending out peace, light, love, compassion, gratitude, and hope. Never giving up on hope. Namaste. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Enjoy the rest of the day. And yeah, keep that feeling of peace and equilibrium. As you step off the mat, feel grounded as well. So feel grounded by the earth beneath your body.